Hello, welcome to this lesson in the Linear Algebra Tutor. In this lesson, we're going to switch gears a little bit and we're going to start to talk about how to use matrices to solve systems of equations with something that we call row reduction. I'll explain what redu row reduction is in just a minute, but basically uh, what we're going to learn about in this section and the next several sections is really one of the most important reasons that anybody learns about matrices. And that is the concept of solving a system of equations. You know, whether you're an electrical engineer, a mechanical engineer, chemist, physicist, doesn't matter. Eventually you're going to have a, what we call a system of equations to solve, which means you might have three equations and three unknowns. Or you might have two equations and two unknowns. Or you might have six equations and six unknowns. And so you learn in basic algebra how to solve those systems. You might use substitution. You might try to graph them and see where they intersect or whatever, which is fine for small systems. But for large systems with four or five variables, it's very difficult to apply substitution or graphing methods to get to the answer. So matrix methods can be applied to any system of equations, any linear system of equations. Uh, where we have multiple unknowns and multiple equations. The other thing I want to mention here is I'm covering this here along with the next several sections uh, to, for completeness because you're going to be asked to learn how to do it in your class. I have also covered a lot of this material in detail in what I call my matrix algebra tutor. So when you get done with this uh, set of lessons here on uh, solving systems of equations. If you want even more practice, then I encourage you to go get my matrix algebra tutor where I have more examples. Uh, but make no mistake about it, we're going to be taking that material, doing that, and we're going to be diving a little bit deeper in this linear algebra class because we have to go to a little bit deeper level to get that, to, to get that understanding of a university level linear algebra class. But we have to crawl before we can walk, so let's talk about a system of equations. So here might be a, a system. 2x plus 5y plus z is equal to 5. Now this is one equation with three variables. So my second equation might be x plus 4y plus 2z is equal to 1. And my third equation might be 4x plus 10y minus z is equal to 1. So uh, you all should know by now that this is three equations and three unknowns. Now in order to have a hope and a prayer of solving this for a unique x, y, and z, you have to have the same number of equations as you do unknowns, all right, as you do unknowns. Now it doesn't necessarily mean that a solution is going to exist to this. It's very possible that these, what this represents, that they don't intersect in such a way that you're going to find a solution. In two dimensions, it's pretty easy to think about. In two dimensions, just x and y, you're drawing a line and you're drawing another line. The intersection of those lines is what we call the solution. But of course, I could have a line here represented by one of my equations and another line exactly parallel to it, in which case they'll never cross. So that would be, you would attempt to solve it by substitution, but you would run into problems even if you try to solve a system with parallel lines like that, even in terms of matrices, because those lines don't cross anywhere. So there's really no solution where they intersect and have a common x, y value. But in any case, you cannot tell from looking at the system of equations if it has a solution, um, but you know that in order for there to even be a chance, you have to have three equations and three unknowns. You have to have the same number of equations as you do unknowns. All right, now this is linear algebra, so we're talking about matrices we can represent this system of equations in terms of a matrix. We can write as the following. We can write it as the following. We can write it as 2, 5, 1, 1, 4, 2, 4, 